I think most of us that graduate from Milton Hershey School get it in the perspective of service. You know, we grew up under maybe the, the most service-oriented man in history, Mr. Hershey, who gave his entire fortune away for kids that he didn't know, like me, and there's over 10,000 of us. We ultimately realized that it's not so much about us, it's about what can we do for others. I feel richly blessed to have been raised by members of the greatest generation. That includes the people that were back here, like Mrs. Lowe, who had to sacrifice during the World War II, and all the men overseas. My dad was in the Army, in the paratroopers, and uh, he was in the hospital. And two days later, he and a buddy that were in the hospital heard something big was coming down. So they tied their sheets together, climbed down the outside wall of the hospital, and they happened to end up with Eisenhower and the troops. And he is forever iconic in that picture of Eisenhower and the troops on D-Day. He not only served there, they came back as house parents. My dad loved that job. He had so much fun. They were good people, uh, particularly Mr. Lowe, who had a very happy-go-lucky attitude. Uh, he didn't sweat the small stuff, and, and I think that's an attitude that he helped instill in me. He didn't make a big deal out of his military experience. He did bring home a parachute, the entire parachute at one time and all the neighborhood kids would come to play under the parachute and he would come out and he would hide in the bushes sometimes. <laughs> he was just an all-round fantastic dad. He taught us how valuable and precious life can be. He brought home a few things from the war that made us realize war is real, war is horrible. Those guys in World War II, they saw the worst of humanity, but those from Milton Hershey School, they already knew about the best in humanity and the service commitment that the Milton Hershey School instills in, in most of us.